Well, school is back in session this week. That means student athletes are taking the field and joining us tonight on Valley View Casino and Hotel Sports Extra, the director of athletics at San Diego State University, J.D. Wicker. J.D., good to have you in studio. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity to be here, and we are excited to get uh, everyone back on campus and get the fall going. Well, let's start with the upcoming football season. When the Chargers left, the school uh, unveiled the slogan, One Team, One City. Uh, how's that going? Are you seeing an uptick of interest in Aztec athletics now that the pro team's gone? Uh, we have. We have seen almost 3,000 new season tickets uh, sold thus far, and we still have a what a couple weeks left before we hit the uh, that first game so excited about um, you know the excitement we've seen around town and you know people excited about Aztec football and I think we'll have a lot of folks come out and try it for the first time. So what are some of the ways that uh, you're going to try to entice fans both uh, old and new out to uh San Diego State, what are we calling it this season? Uh, well, <laughs> technically, I guess it's Jack Murphy Field at San Diego Stadium until we'll see what happens with the naming rights uh, with the city. Uh, you know, the biggest thing we're doing is we're putting the two-time Mountain West Conference defending champions on the field. Uh, Christian Chapman, returning quarterback, Rashad Penny, who is arguably as good as DJ Pumphrey. Uh, he'll be the feature back now. Um, so a lot of that, and then, you know, now that we're, we're we're kind of the main tenant in the stadium. We're going to roll out some new opportunities and some of the club areas and what we're doing with our pregame. Uh, so we're excited. Where do you stand right now on the future of the stadium in Mission Valley and, and where the football team is going to play in the next three to five years? Well, we're, we're still working with the city. Uh, we had a lease extension that had basically been agreed to that would take us through 2020. Uh, and it kind of got held up for whatever reason, but we're, we're continuing to discuss with the city and looking at what that long-term outcome might be. Uh, you know, I feel like Qualcomm or San Diego Stadium, whatever we're calling it, is where we're going to be um, for the long term until San Diego State builds a stadium in Mission Valley. You're also presiding over a big change in the basketball program this season. Steve Fisher announcing his retirement. Brian Dutcher, his longtime assistant, taking over. Uh, how are you trying to aid in that transition, and how do you think it's going for uh, Dutch so far? Yeah, we're supporting Brian wherever we can. They obviously they had a good week this past week um, with Matt Mitchell uh, signing to come in. He'll play this year. There were a couple of other announcements that we can't really discuss, but if you follow Twitter, you know about them. Uh, Cam Rook's coming in as well. Uh, the team's really been working hard. Uh, the coaches have been excited about what they've seen this summer. Uh, so any way we can help them, we are. We've got a great home schedule uh, in basketball. We welcome Gonzaga, uh, you know, who finished runner-up this year. Uh, we've got Cal back in, uh, as well as a full Mountain West Conference slate. So uh, a great schedule. Well, J.D., it's exciting to see the Aztecs back on the field. I know fall sports, including women's soccer, already underway, and it's great to have you stop by. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it. We're, you know, we're looking forward to, to a great fall, and uh, with all the sports going, and you know, especially with football welcoming Stanford and Boise State and some others, it's, it's going to be an exciting time down at the Q. All right, thanks a lot. All right, thank you.